Vic and Bob make their debut on the show. Tears as a super fan meets new kids on the block. Shock as we supply someone in the audience. And rage. Blind hatred if I have to play the forfeit at the end of the show and get pecked by a creature. But it's time now for my first guest. Now, as daughter of big band leader Sid Luft and the legendary Miss Judy Garland, showbiz is truly in this lady's veins. She made a television debut aged just 11, and by 16, she was appearing on Broadway. She's done a lot. Stage, screen, you name it. Her life story was made into an award-winning film, and her autobiography topped the bestseller list around the world. She's currently starring as nah, 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 the Wicked Witch of the West in Manchester Lowry Theatre's production of The Wizard of Oz. Will you please give a huge welcome to Miss Lorna Luft? Let me hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Lorna, welcome. Thank Absolutely you so welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. How are you? I'm very well. How was your opening weekend of The Wizard of Oz? Green. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness, yes. How I... are you getting on with the green makeup? Um, if I said that I really, really loved it, I'd be lying. <laughs> it's really difficult. I mean, it really is, because I only have 17 minutes to, as we call it, green up. Oh, from Miss Gulch, of course, yes. to the witch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, it's, it's really sort of interesting in my dressing room, because now everything <laughs> is green. And then getting it off is... <laughs> oh, no. I know. It's just horrendous. And sometimes in between shows, um, I, I leave my hands oh, Of course, green. you do the hands as well. Yeah, off. I have to yeah, do the yeah. hands and all that. And I'll be in a restaurant, and um, I'll, I'll reach for something, and you'll see the waiter go, oh. <laughs> and I think to myself, do I say to them, well, you know, I'm playing a part, or do I just say, I haven't been well? <laughs> <laughs> you know. So I've got toe main yeah, poison. Yes, 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 don't pay any attention. But to out me. of all the makeup, that's the worst to get off, isn't it? That green, green slap. Yeah, it's, it is. It seeps in your pores until by the end of the run, you have this it like does. green tinge. It's it's a challenge, but it's such an amazing part that. Um, oh, it's a fabulous part. It yeah. is. She is so awful. She's inherently evil, isn't she? she? That's is. it. She, she, she hasn't got is. one redeeming feature, the Wicked Witch of the West. No, she really, really doesn't. And it's interesting because I knew Margaret Hamilton. Really? Yeah. yeah the original. She, she was yeah. a lovely woman yeah. and she was a school teacher before she became an actor. And so she was a lovely, lovely lady and she was so unlike that character. Yeah. And I remember my mom telling me that the hardest thing for her to do in the movie was be afraid of Margaret Hamilton. Cause because she was so sweet. Because she was yeah. so sweet. And they used to try to have tea on the set and her green makeup had fallen the tea and, and all that. She was really lovely. And so. she had quite a bad accident, didn't she, when she was making yes. the film? In, she in the did. fireball when she vanishes. Yeah, they, they shot um, that twice. And the second time they shot that scene, they shot it right before lunch. And of course, when you shoot something right before lunch, everybody is hurrying because they're hungry and this, that and the other. And they didn't take proper care. And instead of the trap door opening they put the fireball <gasps> up and she went she was burned completely all over her right hand side and her hands and part of her face and God, all of that God. it was a bad accident i remember reading that she didn't sew because she knew if she did she'd never work again that's that, true that, that's true isn't it well and they also she also told me that by the time she had left the studio and the thing that made me really go oh like that is in those days to get that green off and she's now burned. They used alcohol. Oh, my. Oh my I know. God. I know. Ooh, I know. Ooh. Imagine the pain. The pain. Yeah. It was an extraordinary, it was an extraordinary um, film. And I'm so proud to have that in my family. Yeah. I... You know, but the one thing I have to say is, and I know that, um, I know it's a compliment, but I, this isn't a panto, but the audiences, because of Christmas and all them, because of all of the pantomimes all, all through the country and all of that, they boo me. <laughs> I, I've never been booed in my life. It's a Paul. huge compliment, Lorna. Seriously. Uh, Isn't it, really, when you boo the villain, it's like a standing ovation, uh, honestly. I'd rather a standing ovation. <laughs> I mean, I, I've never... I mean, it's shocking to me. At first, when it happened to me, and they all booed, and I thought... Well, and I can't one. break character, yeah, yeah. and I don't talk to them, yeah. you know, so it's not, you know, that kind of relationship. But even on my curtain call... They boo. They boo! <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <coughs> I know! It's I, I've got a friend who's a ballet dancer, he's playing the bad fairy, it's the same. They boo me, he I says. I know! It's yeah, shocking! It, yeah, it really is. And then the other night I came on stage and I heard this child starting to cry.
and I got so upset that I, this child was crying, and I thought, do I just keep going, or do I turn around and say, I'm only kidding? <laughs> and I thought, no, I just can't, I've got to keep going. No, you should go. No, 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 I'm not paying for the psychiatrist bills when they have to send that kid to Lorna, a Lorna, when I did child capture, there's loads of kids in therapy now, seriously. <laughs> okay. I used to come out the stage, they'd scatter, oh, they'd absolutely scatter, it's, terrified. It's unbelievable Isn't when you it? play an evil part, yeah, that yeah. that's what you will be remembered. Now, you had a competition in Manchester, didn't you, to we find did. Dorothy? We did, and we found a fabulous, wonderful young actress yeah. named Katie Schofield, and she's just wonderful, because I really do honestly that's believe... How fabulous is that? Yeah. Yeah. And she's, um, she's, she's wonderful, and, and I think the most important part when you do cast a Dorothy is that you do cast a 16-year-old. Yeah. I've seen productions of The Wizard of Oz, and I, these Dorothys come out, and I think, <laughs> oh, my. You know, I mean, you know, you know that they've just had some cigarette in the back, <laughs> you know, and they're coming out, and you go, what? You know? <laughs> and, and, and I think it's really important for the, the character to, to cast a 16-year-old yeah. person. It's also, let's face it, an extremely hard act to follow. It is. It, it really is. I it mean, is. You know, how do you follow Judy Garland I'm, as Dorothy? You don't, do Because that, that is what everybody thinks of when they think of Dorothy. Well, I think so because the movie is so iconic yeah. and, and because it's so... It's ingrained in people's yeah. lives. Yeah. And because of the message of the film and the book yeah. and the simplicity of the story, that it's, it's about home, it's mm. about knowledge, it's, it, it's about courage, and, and, and it's about heart. Yeah. Why, what's, you know, that's why it's lasted this long, because it's such a simple message. It's such a wonderful story, though, with beautiful characters, it, every, one, it's, yes. every one of them. And you love them, and yeah, you yeah, must yeah, believe them. Yeah. And that's the one thing that, yeah. when, um, when the director of this production, if you don't play this for real... Forget it. Yeah. Forget it. Yeah. The audience, because the movie was, you absolutely believed everyone. Yeah. In oh, the completely, film. totally. You really yeah. did. Yeah. And it's amazing because they had no idea that the movie would be a hit. Do you know, for me, what the worst bit in the movie is? What? Is when looking in the witch's, you know, in a, uh, a, uh, a Auntie M appears, going, yes. Dorothy, yeah. and she's going, Auntie M, yeah. and then the witch appears, yes. goes, Auntie M, Auntie M. I do that. Oh, it's just vile. <laughs> that, no, it really, isn't it? it re you think, oh, this woman's horrible, the, the witch, she knows no bounds she and her cruelty. She knows no bounds, no. She, she is not the nicest person, and she just has no redeeming qualities. No, none at all. No. Good for her, Lorna. That's I know. <laughs> Did yeah. your mother want you to go into show business, or did she try and put you off? She, it was sort of Because you've like... got a hell of a voice, Lorna. Thank no, you. No, you really have. Thank no, you. No, she's the thing now, you're there in Folkestone. Seriously. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, you know, it was sort of the white elephant that nobody talked about. Uh, um, I think she thought that if she didn't mention it, it would go away. Yeah. So when I, when I made up my mind that that's what I wanted to do... She, she said, she gave me the best advice, and she said, you must study, because you're not going to get in on my name. Yeah. And yeah. I did. Yeah. And I think that's the most important thing that you can tell these young people who want to go into this business, that you can't be a copy, yeah. be an original. Yeah. And I think that that's what is, is really important to, to get across, and that's what she said to me. And also to have another string to your bow as well. That's always handy, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. If you've got another skill you can do. Yes. Yeah. Oh, she did say yeah. to me at one point, she said, typing. Yeah. It's typing. always, <laughs> always, just take typing. So your father said, look, your mother's Judy Garland, go and be a typist.